Hi everyone, uh, my name is Andrew, and I'm going to tell you about the CSI, the Container Storage Interface. Um, I work at Linode, and this talk is about taking your storage to cloud native land, where everyone lives. So the CSI is a Container Storage Interface. It's an RPC-based plug-in API specification for container storage management. So now our stateless workloads can be stateful if we want to store logs, for example. Um, so the, here's how it works. The container orchestrator, which could be Kubernetes, could be Mesos, could be Nomad, it calls remote procedures via gRPC to CSI servers. And these servers are just binaries that run in the cluster. Um, so we could call these drivers, and they implement three services, identity, controller, and node. The identity service tells the container orchestrator the name of the plugin, what it can do in terms of storage, and its current status. The controller service uh, performs operations that are global to the container orchestrator or external to the container orchestrator. Sometimes you don't have anything external, and CSI is very flexible in that regard. Uh, the node service performs operations that are local to a machine and a container managed by the container orchestrator. So it's common for all three of these services to be compiled into the same container image, and then you deploy this in a centralized or distributed fashion in Kubernetes. It's a distributed fashion. The CSI gRPC server is running on every node of the cluster. Um, all APIs are designed to be idempotent. This is very important. So when you're designing an API, you don't want side effects to happen if you make the same API call with the same parameters. So in, G, uh, in CSI, the gRPC call for create is create A. So it's not create, it's create A. This means you can keep saying create A, create A, create A, and it'll only create A. It won't create B, C, D, E, F, and we call these orphans. So there's no orphans in CSI. And also duplicate calls to delete will not delete things that you don't expect to be deleted because you're saying delete A. It won't delete B or C or D. Um, and the API was designed to be simple and compatible with many systems, so both network attached storage and local storage, like LVM. Block storage and object storage if you use Fuse. Pre-formatted file systems and raw block devices pre-provision storage and dynamically provisioned storage, single writer storage and multiple writer storage. And you might be thinking, well, it's gotta be so complex to do all these things. No, it's very simple, this is the whole API. So you create a volume, you publish the volume, you node publish the volume, and then you can go backwards. You can unpublish the volume, you can uncontroller publish the volume, and then delete the volume. Why do we need these two different ideas of publish? Well, the first publish is to kind of like place the disk onto the node, and the second notion of publish is to like allow a bind mount to happen. So it's like maybe it, when it's node ready, it doesn't have a file system, and then when it's published, it has a file system. Um, here's some examples. Linode, we have a block storage product, and we have a CSI driver for that product. So Kubernetes, Mesos, Nomad, bada bing, bada boom. Google, Amazon, Azure, VMware, DigitalOcean, they all have their own CSI drivers. Um, there are vendors like Portworks that implement their own CSI drivers, and if you're a storage vendor or you have some proprietary storage system or you use NFS, you can use this NFS CSI driver, it's not very good, or you can write your own. These things are like a thousand lines. It's like really not that hard. Um, and the current version of the spec is 1.1. It was released uh, a little over a month ago, um, a little more than a month ago now. And the new features are expansion, cloning, and topology support. Topology means that you, want, you really want the disk to be close to the container. Uh, for further information, you can hit up the CSI team on uh, Kubernetes Slack. Uh, they're very responsive, and you can tell them features that you want, and they'll say no, and then maybe they'll say yes later. Um, so thanks for attending. Uh, my name's Andrew. I work at Linode, linode.com slash Kubernetes. Uh, you can hit me on Twitter, WK3AS on Twitter. And we have a channel on Kubernetes Slack, Pound Linode. Uh, thanks, Chariot Solutions, for this amazing conference.